Here with Jackie for One Fight Night 20 for the all-female card here for International Women's Day. Jackie's the former strawweight Muay Thai champion. Uh, how are you doing and are you ready for this week? I'm doing great. I'm, you know, well adjusted now. We flew out here, landed on Saturday, get a whole week to adjust, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like starting to get in the groove of things now that event week's starting. I'm just excited to, to get back in there. Amazing. And, and how has your camp been, you know, leading up to this fight? Camp was super smooth. Um, what do you call it? I, I always do my camps back at home in California, so I'm confident with the three people who lead that camp, my coach, Brian Popejoy, strength coach, Nick Kirsten, my nutritionist, Tyler Minton. So everything went according to plan, and now it's just time to, to, time to do the thing. <laughs> time to do the thing. And, you know, we haven't seen you in a while. You know, what have you been working on in that time? How have you improved? You know, a lot of things. I feel like especially with my coach, there's different things he wants to play with. Um, he's never one to force you out of your style. You know, there's instances where we have to work certain things, but I think in general, it's stuff that I've been wanting to put out as a fighter and want to be able to showcase, um, you know, in the ring, in the, in the circle, forward pressure, just stronger, you know, in, in every capacity. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're excited to see you out there this weekend. You know, you're facing Martine. Uh, she's only had one fight here at one. What are you expecting out of her as a fighter? I mean, I sound like a broken record, but I know she's a tough girl. I watched the fight with Amber. Um, I don't expect her to back down, but I expect to bring the fight to her and keep the fight there. Yeah, and what's your biggest advantage over her? Um, I think my movement and my strength. Yeah, you know, adaptability to adaptability, move movement, all I mean, everything. <laughs> awesome. And if you could predict the fight, how do you see it playing out? Definitely see myself coming out on top. I'm. I had told this to Mitch earlier. I'm never one to give exact predictions, but you know, I've I've been working a lot on on my movement and my my pressure. So I expect those to come out as well, along with the power in the hands and everything else you guys always see from me. Yes. And you know. Everyone wants a rematch against Smilla. Are you trying to work back for that Muay Thai title again? Yeah, I think the goal of being in the company is always just work your, you work your way into that position to get the title shot, or in my case, get the title shot again. I think I've definitely put myself in that spot. Um, I think even after the DeAndre fight, I definitely solidified my spot in that. But I also said, like, I'm going to let the cards play as it is. I'm not, you know... We'll see what happens, but that's for sure going to happen. I know that. Yeah. And, you know, should we expect to see a different you? How have you kind of evolved since that, you know, loss with Smilla? I think you guys were kind of able to see it mostly with, with the DeAndre fight. And that was a short fight. People focus on the knockout only. But there's a lot of things that I was happy with my performance in terms of just being able to just stand right, and not exactly in front, but apply that pressure, apply that forward pressure. And it seems so easy, but... It's a hard thing to do, especially being able to put something new, you know, in motion on the night that it matters. For sure. And, you know, you've also in the past talked about being a two-sport champion. Is that still on the radar for you in the future? That's definitely in the radar. You know, I made that clear coming into the company 2021, and the kickboxing division strawweight is still kind of, I don't know, I don't say not happening. Um, so I'd love to see more fights in kickboxing. I'd love to be in line to get more fights in kickboxing and, you know, see where that takes me as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one seems to be slowly bringing in some more big hitters. Uh, you know, we have Martina that just made a show out in the last fight night, so that could be good. And, you know, lastly, you're featured on an all-women's card for International Women's Day. What does that mean to you to represent women in Muay Thai and as a whole? Oh, it means the world, you know. it's it, combat Women in combat sports already get a bad rap, you know, especially in... Um, in this era, most people don't find us entertaining, don't think we're worthy enough or can kind of meet how, where the males are, but I think that's absolutely false. And having an all-female card, International Women's Day, doing Muay Thai at the Mecca here in Thailand at Lumpini, where they kind of recently just allowed women to fight, it's, it's a very big deal. And I, I really want people to understand that. And like, we're on Amazon Prime doing this. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> it is amazing, yeah. you know honored that you know to get to watch all of these amazing women fight um, so thank you for getting out there um, and thank you uh, good luck this weekend tune in one fight night 20 uh, for Jackie to show out this weekend thank you